Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Epcot. We are back at Walt Disney World. And the reason why we're out in Epcot today here, again, in Walt Disney World is because right now is the Flower and Garden Festival. Throughout the year, they do different, different festivals. And right now is the Flower and Garden Festival, which I absolutely love. Look at those amazing flower, I don't know what you call those, topiaries or just flower gardens over there. Those are awesome. I love the Mickey shapes. It is beautiful. There's Spaceship Earth in the background. Definitely Disney's most beautiful festival they have going on. I love the flowers. I love all the plants. I love everything about flower and garden festival. In fact, what's really cool about this time of year anyway is the Purple Martins are out. If you guys are unfamiliar with Purple Martins, they are birds that come out here every single year and nest in Epcot. Look at that right over there. Tons of the Purple Martins nesting making babies, doing what Purple Martins do during the spring. That is pretty awesome. They have some cast members over there doing, I guess, some scientific work, maybe. I have no idea what exactly it is they're doing. Something, though, that I guess is non-invasive. You would think that pulling down the nests and opening them up and looking inside them, checking to see how many eggs there are, things like that would be invasive, but I guess it's not because they're doing that and the birds don't seem to mind all that much. It is a beautiful day out here in Epcot right now. The, the temperature is pretty nice. It's maybe like the mid 80s. There's a nice breeze blowing, as I'm sure you guys can clearly hear by the audio of this video, probably being completely destroyed. Look at the figment here. That is awesome. The 50th anniversary figment. I wonder when they're gonna take these down. The 50th anniversary is now over. What they're celebrating now is 100 years. I think there's actually a somewhere, yeah, right over here, 100 years of the Walt Disney Company. That's what they're celebrating now. As you can see, there's a big 100th anniversary statue over here. So the 50th is done and it's over with. The statues are still up. Look at that. Disney 100. What a shot there with the, with the, the uh, 100 and Spaceship Earth in the background. Look at that. That is awesome. Everybody's getting their photos taken with that. So I'm out here enjoying the amazing weather, enjoying the festival, got some food already. I did not have any festival food though, not yet. Don't know if I am gonna have any festival food, I might. Who knows, there's, there's a lot of different booths around with all kinds of different foods. I might actually have some, but I just got done eating some pizza because the pizza here is actually really, really good. And as somebody who loves pizza, if I can find good pizza, I'm gonna be eating it. I do have a few things though I want to buy. There are some some pieces of memorabilia that I want to pick up. One of them is a figment pin. I actually had somebody pick up a ton of Disney merchandise for me, a bunch of uh, Flower and Garden Festival merchandise for me already. So I have a ton of it, but there's actually a pin that for whatever reason must not have been out during the time when when the Flower and Garden Festival merchandise was, was first coming out. I, I have no idea, but there's a pin I never got my hands on that I definitely want to pick up. And there's also a little medallion, medallion, a coin, a 100th anniversary, again, at the Walt Disney World Company pin, or not pin, um, medallion, um, coin that I want to get that actually has a pigment on it. So that's definitely something I have to pick up. In fact, I think right here is where you can pick up the pin I want to grab. So I pretty much have like most of this stuff. I have, and okay, not all of it, but I have a bunch of these pins down here. I have this tray. I have the, the magic band. I don't have this though. I don't have the, the magnet. That's kind of awesome. $14.99 for the magnet. That's tempting. I don't have this yet either. I don't have the mug, but I don't have this pin. This, I have to come back and pick up at some point. $18 for that plus my discount. I'm gonna have to come back for that pin. That is a must. I have, have to get that. I have this as well. This weird little thing. I guess you put like a succulent in. I don't know. I'm gonna just put it in a display case in my figment collection. So at some point I have to come back and get that pin. That is definitely something I need before I leave. And then over here, they have the coin, the medallion. I definitely want that. There's only one issue though. And that's the fact that I was not smart and I didn't bring money with me down here. Actually, I usually always have cash. Usually when I go on vacation, I will at least go to the bank and get like maybe like a hundred dollars in cash, just, just in case. You never know when you're gonna need cash over over credit card. And unfortunately, I uh, I did not do that this trip and I really wanna get right here, this figment. They actually call them, okay, medallions. They're not, they're not coins, they are collectible medallions. And I wanna get this figment one right there. The only issue is I'm gonna have to get all four of these, the Indiana Jones, 
the BB-8, and the uh, the Rocket and Groot. I'm gonna have to get all four and spend twenty dollars to get all four, only because I don't have a single dollar on me. I actually have a five dollar bill, but I don't have another dollar, and they're six dollars each. So I'm kind of out of luck when it comes to just getting the figment. I'm gonna have to get all four. Unfortunately, when you do put a credit card in there, it does give you all four. I kind of wish I could just get four figments. If that was the case, that'd be awesome. I actually have some friends and some other people I know who collect figment. I could totally sell those other figment coins too. In fact, I could probably sell them for like 10 bucks a piece, make my money back, and then just get my coin for free. That'd be perfect. That'd be awesome. I would totally do that. But unfortunately, um, you have to get all four if you're going to use your credit card, which is what I'm going to do. Look at this. You can almost see straight across the World Showcase Lagoon once again, which is awesome. For those of you who do not know, there were these horrible, terrible barges out here. You can see there's still two of them left. Those are called the tacos. There were four, four taco barges and one giant, what we call the Stargate barge, which was, which was this, this huge barge. It was like in a big shape of a circle, had these arms that came off it. It was for their big fireworks thing they had going on here. Nobody liked it. It was a terrible show. Nobody, okay, I shouldn't say nobody, but a majority of people were not very much into the fireworks show they had going on and pretty much everybody. I don't think there was many people who actually enjoyed them, but nobody liked the barges because they are huge and they are tacky and they ruin the sight lines. You can get some amazing photos, especially when the sun starts going down. Some of the most amazing sunsets I've ever seen in my entire life are right here in Walt Disney World, in Epcot, looking across the World Showcase. I think the sun sets over that way, if I'm not mistaken. So if you're on that side of the World Showcase in the afternoon, you can get some truly amazing sunset photos. However, with those giant taco barges and the huge Stargate barge that was out there, you really couldn't. It, they just looked terrible. There was this whole thing where, oh, what we're, gonna, we're, what we're going to do during the day. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. What they were going to do during the day is they were going to have fountains shooting off them. And the concept art basically showed the fountains kind of masking the barges. You couldn't even tell barges were there. There were giant fountains out in the middle of the, the, the lagoon. And um, no, I've seen the fountains on. It looked like somebody stuck a bunch of water hoses on top of the um, on top of the barges and just turned them on. It was terrible. It was awful looking. So they finally finally decided to get rid of them. They're gonna they, they're tearing them down. You might see back there. There's a huge crane back there. If you guys can see that, that is the crane that's currently tearing the barges apart. They're actually taking them and they've taken the barges. There's a there's an area over there where there's a like a gate, a uh, bridge that opens up. And they can take the barges back there and they're now tearing them apart. I believe the whole original concept actually was to have the barges be movable. They were going to just bring them out during the show and then put them back and then bring them back out. And then I don't know if that was just too expensive or maybe the barges were too big or for whatever reason, whatever, whatever cockamamie idea it was, they decided, no, we're just going to leave them parked in the lagoon for everybody to see at all times. Nobody liked it. They were tacky looking. They were terrible looking. And after spending literally from what I heard, like hundreds of millions of dollars to build these things, Disney went, nah, let's just get rid of them now, which is good. I'm glad they're getting rid of them, but they never should have built them in the first place. That would have been the smart idea. Just never build those terrible things in the first place. They did not need them. They had some pretty good fireworks shows going on already. They could have honestly just updated the, the show they had. They had this amazing, an amazing fireworks show that was going on for it was supposed to be a millennium show. It was supposed to be a show that, that was that was happening during 2000, the year 2000. And then they just kept the show going for, for like a decade. They kept it going for maybe two decades. They kept that show going for so long, but everybody loved it. It was a great, great fireworks show they had here. And then they got rid of it for whatever they have going on now. And they probably could have just updated the show and people would have been completely fine with that. They're bringing like Epcot Forever back now. I guess Epcot Forever I think is back now. And then apparently they're gonna get rid of that and then do some other fireworks show here, which is fine. I'm just happy the barges are gone. It's nice to look across, look at this. You can't over there, but over here, you can look across and actually see straight across the World Showcase Lagoon without seeing these giant tacky barges. And I am very, very happy about that. But all right guys, so I'm having a great time here. That little kid's having a great time chasing that bird. I'm having a great time here in Epcot. Gonna hit up some attractions, probably ride Guardians of the Galaxy at some point. I did get a return time to go ride that. Who knows what else? Maybe 
Ratatouille, maybe Frozen, Test Track. There's so many great attractions here. What's your favorite Epcot attraction? I would say mine, oh man, if I'm gonna go with Ride, I don't know what I would say my favorite ride is here. That, that's tough. That is a tough decision to pick my favorite ride in Epcot. I honestly don't know what I would say. I used to say it was Maelstrom. That's not here anymore. They got rid of Maelstrom and now it's now it's uh, Frozen, which is fine. It's a good ride. I like it, good attraction. I enjoy it. It's just not, it's not what it used to be. Maelstrom was amazing. Test Track is really good as well. I, I'm, not the, I'm not the biggest fan of Guardians. I used to say, I probably would have told you before my anxiety started getting bad, that Spaceship Earth was my favorite attraction here. I love Spaceship Earth. It's a great, great attraction, but my, um, my agoraphobia, my anxiety, doesn't really allow me to go on that attraction anymore. Oh, feel that breeze. That's amazing, but I can't really go on that attraction anymore, so I kind of, I kind of pass on that, I don't know. The new Ratatouille attraction is pretty amazing. Maybe I'd say that. But my favorite attraction, just in general, would maybe be... See, that's also tough to say. No, you know what? I know what it is. It's going to be... I'm falling over stuff. It's going to be Impressions of France, which they only do at night. I think for like the last hour of Epcot, they do Impressions of France. Oh, there's a monorail. Look at that. How awesome is that? So for like the last hour or so of Epcot being open every day, they do Impressions of France, which was this amazing show that they kind of got rid of and they decided to do a Beauty and the Beast sing-along instead, which is terrible. I don't like it, I guess for the kiddies, but Impressions of France is one of the greatest shows, one of the greatest attractions that Disney has. And again, if, you, if you're here on like the last hour of the park being open, I think it's the last hour anyway, you can actually check out Impressions of France. In fact, I'm gonna do that tonight. I think the park's only open to, to nine tonight. So around eight o'clock, I'm heading back to France. Probably gonna grab myself a baguette. They have really good baguettes back there. And then I'm gonna watch Impressions de France. So again, what is your favorite Disney park? What is your favorite Epcot attraction? I wanna hear from you guys. And when do you think the 50th anniversary statues are going to be taken down? Do you think they will take these down anytime soon? Maybe they'll just change the emblems. Honestly, they could just change the emblems and say 100. That would probably work. These actually are, these actually work with your, if you have the Magic Band Plus, you can scan your Magic Band Plus on those and they make all kinds of noises and that one barks. I think Rocket says something. They all they all do something. They interact with your Magic Band Pluses. I don't have, well, it's a lie. I do have a Magic Band Plus. I just don't use it. It's a Figment one. And of course, why would I buy a Magic Band Plus, a Figment Magic Band Plus and wear it when I can display it in my display case at home? Yes, my, Magic, my Figment Magic Band Plus is on display in a display case back in Pennsylvania, but possibly soon to be in a display case here in Florida. Stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, so all right. Again, I'm having a blast. Fun day today. Just want to show you guys what's going on with the World Showcase Lagoon. Let you know that two of the tacos are gone and that the Stargate, which is the tackiest part of all, the Stargate is completely gone, which is amazing. Only two tacos left to go. And then the World Showcase Lagoon is back and I'll be able to look across it and just see straight across, get some amazing photos of the, the sun setting for you guys, which I'm excited about. Look at that, look at, the, look at that shot of Spaceship Earth. That is beautiful. Again, great attraction. Probably my favorite attraction, even though I can't ride it anymore. I would still say that Spaceship Earth is my favorite attraction here in Epcot. Definitely at some point, gonna have to go ride Journey into Imagination. In fact, since I'm DVC, I'm gonna have to go to the top of the top of the Imagination Pavilion and go to the DVC Lounge, get some free soda, get some snacks, and then probably go ride Journey into Imagination. I'm just, I'm kind of old now. <laughs> I was just talking about some, to somebody about this. I'm to the point now where I'm 40, I'm gonna be 41 years old in October. As much as I love going on attractions, and I do, I will always go on attractions. I will always go on roller coasters and whatever new, whatever new things Disney builds, I will always do them. I'm not the type of guy who comes into, into the parks now and just continuously rides attractions. I come into the parks, I'll do one or two rides, and then the rest of the time I'll just walk around, I'll do some shopping, I'll do some eating, I'll do some sightseeing. That's kind of my my go-to now when it comes to the parks. I just take it take them very in a very relaxed manner. I just take them like in a very chill manner. I just hang out, have a good time. There's no need to rush around ride every attraction there's no need to get here when the park opens 
I usually do stay till the park closes, mainly because I just like the Disney parks most at night, but I don't usually, I don't usually come in bright and early. In fact, I think today I didn't get here till like, I think it was like noon or even past noon maybe. I didn't even get here, so I slept in today. Again, took it easy. And so far I haven't even ridden, I haven't ridden a single ride. I've just walked around, done some shopping, got some food, filming now for you guys. Probably gonna head up to the DVC lounge, get some more food, get some snacks, and then who knows, I'll pop on maybe Guardians or, like I said, I do have a return time for Guardians. Maybe I'll pop on Guardians. Maybe I'll go on Journey into Imagination. Looks like they actually took the, uh, during the Festival of the Arts, there was, a, I think it was a Mickey painted down there on the, uh, on the concrete. He has been painted over. Mickey is no longer there on the reverse waterfall kind of sad but all right guys so like i said taking today kind of easy just taking today chill that's my that's my plans for today it's a very relaxed day a very fun day here in epcot with beautiful weather nice breeze blowing temperature not too bad tonight will probably be amazing the last couple of nights i've been down here they've been great it's one of those kind of temperatures where you can have a have a jacket on not have a jacket on look at the lion king topiaries look at that Again, I love Flower and Garden Festival. And this is one of the reasons why the amazing topiaries. In fact, you know what? We're gonna end this video on the best topiary that Disney has. Again, look at the, the reverse waterfall. That's water shooting up, not water shooting down. And on hot days, I want nothing more than to jump in that. Every time I walk past this on a day when I'm down here where it's blistering hot, all I can think is I really wanna go in that water. I know some people have done that. I will not do that. Look at that. There's a Timon and Pumbaa over here. How cool are those? Look at them. That's awesome. I love the topiaries, but I have to say by far, the best topiary of Disney has to be right here in front of the Journey into Imagination Pavilion. Look at this. Check out the figment made of succulents. I mean, if it's not cool enough that it's figment, it's a figment made of succulents. Look at that. How amazing. That is so cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna go enjoy some, like I said, enjoy some attractions, go to the, the DVC lounge, get something to drink, get something to eat. I'm out here to have a good time, guys. All right, so leave, again, leave comments down below. Like I asked you before, what is your favorite Disney park and why is it Epcot? And what is your favorite attraction at Epcot, what do you like going on the most? Me, I'm gonna say it's a show. It's Impressions of France. That is my favorite thing to ride. It's like somebody lost their, their water bottle, unfortunately. I see a lot of water bottles left around. Look at the ducks, are those baby ducks? There's a baby ducks down there, look at that. Maybe there's like teenage ducks. They're not quite baby. They're not quite a full grown adult. They're just like teenage ducks, look at that. That is awesome. We've actually been seeing a ton of babies out here. There was the, um, the Pearl, Purple Martins over there. There's baby ducks here. Those, um, I don't know what they call, they call them Florida chickens. Those big white birds down here with the big long beaks. Again, they call them Florida chickens. I don't know what they actually, they're not actually chickens. <sighs> Something just landed on my glasses. They're not actually chickens, but they call them Florida chickens. What kind of bird is that? Leave a comment down below. We saw baby, baby ones of those. Oh my gosh, there's a butterfly garden. I was gonna end this video, but maybe I have to end it inside the butterfly garden. I'm thinking we do, right? I mean, how could I, how could I not take you guys into the butterfly garden really quickly? Because it's right, it's right here. This is gonna be a very long vlog. We're already 20 minutes into this vlog, but there's so much to see. There's so much to do. All right, we're gonna end this inside the butterfly. It's called Butterfly Landing, presented by Advent Health. Look at this. This is awesome. Look at the butterfly. There's so many different butterflies in here. Look at that. This is pretty cool. Look at all the co cocoons over there. Look at that. And this is why I love Epcot so much. This is too amazing. All right, guys, so music is kind of loud in here. I should probably be trying to talk over that because I'm sure it's copyrighted to music, all Disney music. 
that Disney plays tends to usually be copywritten and gets me in trouble. But look at that, look at the cocoons in there. That is so cool. This is awesome. All right, let's get out of the butterfly garden before I do get a copyright claim on my video because that music is quite loud. All right, guys, so <laughs> butterfly garden, pretty awesome, pretty amazing. But now that we're 20 minutes or so, past 20 minutes into this video, I am going to actually let you guys go. So, all right, guys, as always, like I always say, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Just sent postcards out from the Magic Kingdom yesterday to all of the patrons. So definitely check down below for that. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt. We can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts with proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do good help supporting the show and keeping the show going. So I really do appreciate that. And what should today's hashtag be? I don't know. Let's say hashtag, let's do hashtag figment. Hashtag figment if you watch this video all the way to the very end. All right, guys. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that like button and you do hit that subscribe button, then I will see you tomorrow. Look at the monkeys in the tree. That's so awesome. That is too cool. Woody and Bo Peep and the barrel of monkeys, monkeys in the tree. That is really, really awesome. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. All right, bye.